How's it going, Tanner Little Hot Dog Cuties? Ben here. Today we are going to be talking about professionalism, good professionalism, bad professionalism. What is professionalism really? And are tattoos and piercings really unprofessional? Because I was, wa I, I, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I was on Facebook the other day and there's this new article that's been trending and being reposted by my friends about how a bunch of professionals are talking about showing their tattoos in the workplace. And although I haven't read that article, which I probably should have before I made this video, honestly. But even though I haven't read that article, I can absolutely relate to those people that have tattoos and work professional jobs. I don't have tattoos currently because, haha, <laughs> what do you know, Ben is too poor to afford one. But I would like to have tattoos one day. And it's something I definitely, definitely think about as far as my future outcome with my job prospects because I am a medical student and I'll be going into the medical profession which to this day still has very traditional people who frown upon people having tattoos. But we're going to talk about my personal experiences with people I've known throughout my life with tattoos that are work professional jobs and to be honest, they're amazing, they're great. Sometimes they're one of the best workers in whatever profession they are in. So my first experiences with people having tattoos and working on the job in the professional field was actually when I was going through school. In middle school, my PE teacher had tattoos. And you could say that, well, it's a PE teacher. Um, um, you could expect them to have tattoos because it's not technically a real subject. A lot of people say that stuff, but no. Being a PE teacher means you need to have the same credentials, you go through the same education to become a childhood educator. And these people are working professionals. So my PE teacher back when I was 13, I think maybe 11 through 13, had tattoos and they were visible tattoos. She had them on her bicep and she would always be proud, out and proud about it. She would tell us the meaning of her tattoo. And honestly, she was a teacher that really inspired me to be the best student that I could be. Out of all the teachers I had that I have forgotten, I still remember her because she would constantly encourage me to do the best that I could in class. And it motivated me to do well in school. And it's the reason, it's one of the pivotal reasons why I'm actually in medical school to begin with. Because she had such a lifelong lasting impact on me as a student. She even, when I told her I was interested in learning Japanese, she went and got me this how to, how to Speak Japanese book because she got it back when she traveled to Japan. So she was one of those teachers that really engaged with the students and really inspired me. So the tattoo that she had on her arm did not mean anything. At that time when I was growing up, my mom and dad were telling me, oh, people with tattoos are bad. They have bad life judgments. But when I talked to that teacher, she seemed to really have her life down and really know what she wanted out of life. And she honestly didn't care about the restrictions that society puts on her. And I really, really admired that. Then when I was in high school, one of my favorite te uh, history teachers had tattoos all over his body. He had tattoos running from his wrist all the way to his shoulders. He never showed them. He always wore long sleeve shirts because he was afraid of being ostracized. But this teacher was also very active in the community. So when people were out in the community saw this professor running, um, jogging down the street and he was covered in tattoos. And this teacher, oh my god, he is absolutely ma amazing. He was my AP US history teacher. So now, and he also worked in the business sector for many years before deciding on following his passion of teaching. So he worked in business and he worked in teaching and had tattoos. He was incredibly professional. He was incredibly inspiring. I think he nominated me for an award back in high school because I, I, he just made me love U.S. history. And that's hard to say because I'm not the fondest, like... I'm not the fondest fan of U.S. history because it's a little bit boring to me. But this teacher also had tattoos and he was amazing. And that was when I first started realizing that having tattoos and being a professional doesn't really correlate with one another. I mean, if you are a professional, you're a professional. If you have tattoos, you have tattoos. I mean, that's who you are and that's how you function and that's how you go about life and that's how you express yourself and it has nothing to do with the job and work that you do in the profession that you are in. But then when I got to college is when I first started realizing why there is such a huge stigma against people having tattoos and piercings. 
in the academic field, in professional business fields, in medicine, and in law, and all the other types of professional fields that are out there that require more than a bachelor's degree. And to be honest, it comes down to people sticking their noses up as thinking individuals that get tattoos are of lower income. And I, I can't even delve into that subject right now because that goes into so many different layers of our society. And also you can intertwine anti-indigenous people's autonomy and racism into that really really complex subject of why people associate tattoos with lower income or rambunctious lifestyles according to you know the big society standards which i don't really consider rambunctious it's just being who you are but there's also a lot of really kind heartwarming loving individuals with tattoos and that that subject is just so 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 complex and that's when I first started learning about those complexities in undergrad. And I'm not an expert on those complexities, that's why I'm not delving into them. But I would love to have someone in the future come to my channel and talk about that. Someone who's an expert in that field. But when I was in college, I started volunteering at a medical school. Actually, I'll shout out that medical school's department out right now. And Emory University School of Medicine Psychiatry Department, which was incredibly, incredibly welcoming uh, to their workers with all different types of self-expression. I work there and I work with a bunch of healthcare professionals. I work with doctors, I work with PhDs, I work with nurses, I work with social workers, I work with therapists. And so many of them had visible tattoos. And it was the first time that I was in a professional setting where it was that in your face and that visible. And I just, I just remember being awed by it. I wasn't like, jarred or anything like that but i was just odd i was just like wow pe people in this workplace are able to just be who they are and not have to like present themselves as someone that they're not and they were allowed to dress the way they they wanted to and they wanted to they were allowed to of course there were some professional standards that were there which i called good professionalism which is coming to work on time getting the tasks that, that are expected of you of the day done coming in with motivation coming in with goals in mind that you need to finish those are good professional standards wearing tattoos and having tattoos and wearing piercings are not reasons to call somebody unprofessional i think it's incredibly absurd that certain professions still uphold that fact but one day i was sitting down and it was lunchtime and i was talking to one of my bosses and he he actually has like one or two tattoos and I asked him, like, I, I'm not the kind of person who just, you know, stays silent about the questions that I have for people. So I was very curious about how this branch of a medical field of this university was so open about their workers expressing themselves to their fullest extent. Like, people had colored hair and everything. And he basically sat down with me and told me that... The biggest problem with medicine is the fact that we have skewed perceptions of what professionalism means and in that way when we when we skew it and when we bar ourselves from being ourselves we create this really weird separation between us as we're professionals we know what we're doing versus our patients where we think that they are lower than us and that they they don't know what they're talking about and that their their feelings aren't valid. We know what they're feeling and what they're feeling are not valid because we are the experts and that's the kind of weird toxic kind of environment that these weird professional standards create. Like having tattoos it's not it's not a big deal as long as your tattoo doesn't say something incredibly offensive. But nowadays I like I have never seen someone with an offensive tattoo. Every tattoo that I've seen on someone has been something very significant to them. And that, to me, is not offensive. So he was telling me that he encourages our workers to express themselves and show that who they are to our patients because it allows the patients to personalize themselves to us. It, it, it closes that separation between the, the caregiver and the one being cared. And it allows the patient to feel comfortable and to tell you how they feel and to be open and honest with you. If they're, you, 
using substances. They're more willing to tell you that. If you close that gap, if there's a huge gap between you and the patient, they're not going to tell you everything that they're going through because they're going to think you're going to judge them, which is honestly something that almost every single person experiences when they go to the, to the doctor. Whenever my doctor used to ask me back in the day if I was sexually active or whether or not I drank alcohol or anything like that, I went to a very, very traditional doctor because my parents were incredibly religious and I never revealed any of that information because I did not want to feel like that doctor was judging me. When a doctor is able to express themselves and when a professional is able to express themselves with who they are and be completely their selves and their personalities is when we don't create those weird barriers. We're able to treat our clients with utmost respect. We're able to treat our patients with up utmost respect. And that's why I think we need to get away from these professional standards of appearance. We really need to get away from that. Obviously, there are certain appearance standards we have to meet, such as hygiene and things like that because of the work that we're in. But professional standards such as piercings, hair color, hairstyle, tattoos, what you wear, none of that should matter as long as you're doing your job and you're doing your job well. And it's really nice to see that most of the medical profession, especially the school I am at, is moving away from those standards. At least 20% of my class, there are students with tattoos, which is amazing to see. And it's amazing to see that even though we were ostracized in the beginning when we first came to medical school to not have tattoos, these students are like, tattoos shouldn't matter. Like It's who I am and who I am as a physician that's going to matter. And so these students and classmates of mine that are getting tattoos, I'm incredibly proud of them for throwing away the old standards. Of course, in every single profession, the old the old elites are still around to this day and they have those really, really skewed opinions. But the more we are like, no, screw that. We're going to be ourselves and we're going to be the better versions of what you were in the past. That's how we get progress. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. I know a lot of people that are watching this video is like, Ben, you're going off about t tattoos when there are so many other problems in the medical industry and other professions. Yes, there are, but... There are even simple things like this that can help alleviate some of the other very, very major deep-rooted issues that we have that could eventually manifest into these anti-tattoo, anti-self-expression rhetoric that a lot of professional industries have. Anyways, I, I hope you guys like this video and that's it for, for my rant for today. And be sure to like, subscribe, share this video, follow me on Instagram because I'm super, super active on Instagram and also Twitter. I'll see you guys on the next video. Be sure to hit that notification bell if you like my face enough and I'll see you all the next one. This is Ben.